this is a dissection of the sheep brain. And here, both hemispheres are attached. This is the cerebrum, the large two hemispheres you see here. This is the cerebellum. And this is the brain stem. And we did a longitudinal cut right down the fissure to separate the two hemispheres. This is the right hemisphere. <laughs> And this is the internal medial view. Okay. The dura mater has been removed. There is a remaining arachnoid matter, which I've hooked here. The pia matter is also right under that. And the black that you see is the vein and vessels that feed the brain. Right where I've cut this, this here was the longitudinal fissure. Right inside of that, which is also now cut, is the corpus callosum. This would span between the two brain hemispheres and would connect inside. And just to go to a lateral view, this is the frontal lobe here the temporal lobe, the parietal lobe, and back here is the occipital lobe. I'm going back into the medial view, the lateral ventricle, which is seen here, this is where the septum pellucidum would be, which this is a piece of it here. I've cut down the middle, and the septum pellucidum covers the central part between the two lateral ventricles. So right down the center, I cut it in half. So it's no longer visible, but that is a piece of it there. And going into the internal of the cortex and the uh, cerebellum, you can see that there's a difference between the colors here. This is white matter, and this is gray matter, the darker. Gray matter is also seen at the cortex. These almost tree-like structures are called the arbor vitae. And right under the arbor vitae, in here, is the fourth ventricle. Going to an inferior view, this here, which is cut in half, is the optic chiasma. These are the optic nerves which would normally feed to the eye. And that can be seen right here. <laughs> the infundibulum is just back of that, right here. It's a small piece that connects the pituitary. And right superior to the pituitary in this view are the mammillary bodies. Superior to that is this circular formation here, which is the thalamus. And the pineal body, which is just caudal, is this circular formation here. It can also be seen by peeling this back and seeing it above the corpora quadrumina. Spreading this again, you can see the fornix, which is this band right here, just under and inferior to the corpus callosum. And the third ventricle is here. The thalamus makes up the walls of the third ventricle. Moving into the midbrain, which is seen here. From here to here are the cerebral peduncles. This round projection here, which makes sort of a lump, is the pons. And this final lump 
is the medulla. And just to show the last bit of the brain stem from this angle, the corpus quadrumina and two of the four pieces, the superior and the inferior. And that's it.